Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a very interesting LEGO news video. So if you hadn't heard yet, I actually had to take down the Wonder Woman 84 set pictures. And this morning I woke up to a community post by Justin saying, by the way, if you have posted the pictures anywhere, LEGO's wanting to take them all down. And they literally went and started striking YouTube videos, Instagram posts without a warning. Which in itself, I'm not even, I'm going to back up and tell you like the sort of history of this whole leak and why it's just laughable what they're doing. But number one, the fact that they're not even going to these people and asking, hey, can you take down this video? No, they're just sending an email to members of LAN to take down videos who covered it and posts and different things like Brick said and, and all that. So for us who aren't in LAN... That's absolutely ridiculous that you're just going to come and strike videos and Instagram posts. I had people in my comment section already talking about this and, and it's, it's really frustrating. And so let's just take a step back about this whole set. About a week ago from a foreign company, the set pictures actually leaked online and people were posting them on Instagram and some people were doing videos and they were getting a lot of views. But the rule that Justin has told me for actually posting reviews and pictures is that until you have an actual site, an actual official seller like Amazon France in this case, or was it Spain? Until you have an actual site posting the pictures, we cannot post them. No matter if they look official, like the Harry Potter bag that was taken from Lego servers internally and different things like that, we can't talk or post about it. Or we can, but at the risk of getting in trouble. And I'm not going to break that rule. I hope to one day be in LAN. And I don't want to go against those rules and different things like that. I also don't want to strike on my channel for something that I can avoid and wait for official pictures from sites. So I did the good thing. I actually waited, right? So did Justin. We could have done the video. And instead, we waited until, of course, the pictures came out the day that I made the video and they were from Amazon Spain and we credited them in the source and all that in the description and then what happened was literally that day they took the pictures off of Amazon Spain I watched because when I went to go find the pictures actually from Justin's video the link that he provided the post was gone until I went back later that day they put it back up on the site and then other news sources from Lego and members of LAN were actually covering this and then what happened was literally, I'm not even kidding you, yesterday, so that was two days ago, I think, JB Brick Fanatic, I'll link him down below, he actually found the set in Target. So he was able to actually review it early. Of course, he also has some minion sets that were are appearing early, as well as the CMF series I heard is also appearing in Walmarts and Targets. But anyways, so the set I think is available early right now, and it kind of got put on the shelves because I think the original release date was going to be May, but now that the movie has been pushed back, I think that they've also moved the date for the set's release. Now, Justin has actually picked up a copy of the set for himself and me, so he's going to be shipping it out tomorrow. So, again, I'll thank him in all those videos and different things, but it's, it's just, it's really frustrating to me. Like, we did the good thing, we waited. Meanwhile, people have been making money on the leaks for a week, and LEGO does nothing about the actual leaks, but when official pictures are released, that's when they take a step and actually want to take down videos and different things. So it's really frustrating. So in response to that, I'm going to be doing a ton of Wonder Woman 2 videos. I already have two ideas ready. And one of them is going to be a review of the Maxwell Lord minifigure, as well as a how to make Cheetah from that. So stay tuned, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on that. And when I'm able to, I will re-upload the video so that you guys can see it. And hopefully we'll have better crisper pictures then. Maybe I'll even redo the video, but I don't know. It's just it's just really frustrating. From a content creator's point of view, like it, it's it's frustrating that LEGO is making these rules, breaking them, and then not even telling people like myself who listened and they're not even reaching out. Instead, they're just going around and striking Instagram posts and YouTube videos. So anyways, that's my little rant for today. Again, be sure to check out JB Brick Fanatic down below and uh, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for all that Wonder Woman content. But anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this video. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this whole situation. I hope that you did enjoy the video and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.